dear students welcome to my channel topic of this video is linear regression under quantitative analysis in this video i am going to explain the theoretical part of linear regression as well as derivation by the least square method let, let us start in any experiment there are two types of variable one variable which is an output variable and there are some variables which are causing that output when we try to find out the relationship between the input and output variable that will be called as a model model is simply representation of relationship for example if y is yield of crop the yield of crop depends on several factors like quantity of fertilizers quality of fertilizers irrigation rainfall temperature and so on now out of these parameters we are just taking the three parameters like quantity of fertilizers irrigation level and the temperature which is represented by x1 x2 and x3 now yield of crop is given by x1 plus x2 plus x3 but equation is 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 so the aim of the linear regression is to find out this parameter which is associated with x1 x2 x3 variable in such a way that when we provide the value of x1 x2 x3 it will predict the yield of the crop now here y is independent y is dependent variable while x1 x2 x3 are independent variables as more than one independent variable one independent variable is involved it is called multiple linear regression for example relief to patients depends on quantity of dosage bp of patients and sugar level of patient now here equation is y is equal to 4x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 this is again the example of multiple linear regression as the x1 x2 x3 they are the independent variables and gets involved here we require to find out the parameter in this equation like that 4 which is associated with x1 2 which is associated with x2 and 3 which is associated with the x3 now take the next example rent of the flat depends on size of the flat y is equal to 1.5x as one, as one independent variable is involved, it is called simple linear regression. Now here we require to find out the relationship between y and x. That, that is means we require to find out this 1.5 because 1.5 into x is which is equal to y. So in the future when new x comes, we can easily predict the value for that y. There are some but we don't know that factor is 1.5 or any some number. So we our aim is to find out that particular factor or parameter there is some mathematical relationship which exists in the nature the problem is that we don't know that relationship by knowing this relationship it will help us for better future and better planning a model is good when it incorporates all the salient features of the phenomenon a model has two components one is variable and another is parameter pa another is parameter y is equal to mx plus c where m and c are parameters and x and y are variables now instead of using this equation we are going to use this equation that is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x where uh, we represent variables in alphabet by parameters by the greek letters this is the example of senil, c, simple linear regression as only one independent variable is involved now for multiple independent variable involved we can call that multiple linear regression and the equation like this here n independent variables that is from x1 to xn are involved now we have to find out the parameters the equation of line is equal to y equal to mx plus c where m is slow and c is nothing but y intercept for example if we take y is equal to 4x plus 5 it will describe the line but 3 is equal to 2m plus c does not describe the line in the xy plane with the value of m and c we can always find out that for given value of x what will be the value of y and reverse that is for given value of y what will be the value of x that means we can know the entire line but reverse is not true by knowing the value of x and y we cannot know the entire line therefore it is important to find out the parameters that is nothing but the slope and intercept regression analysis technique has an advantage that it helps us in finding out unknown values of the parameters on the basis of given set of data and this data is obtained from some experimental setting 
or some survey so this is nothing but historical data or training data based on that we are finding out the parameters meaning of the regression to move or look in the backward direction now what is the meaning of this here we first observe the historical data or training data and we try to find out the relationship between the input and output we will take the simple example we are actually going in the opposite direction we collect the data from the set of data infer about the phenomenon and then we try to express it in the mathematical format model here in linear regression initially historical data generates the model that is find out the parameters and relationship between the x and y this is the initial phase and after that once that model gets built it is model generates the data means whatever the new value of x comes it will predict the value of y that is the means what when unknown value or x comes it will predict the value of y now here uh, y it is called regression for example see this example y and x where y is dependent variable and x is independent variable now even by seeing the values we can see immediately that whenever x is 1 2 3 4 it is get doubled in y so we can write down the equation y is equal to 2x now this is nothing but what regress that we are looking into this data in the backward direction to find out the relationship and once it found and when the new value of x comes for example if the new value of x comes as 10 then we can easily predict that y is 20 now next example is also simple we can find out that it is uh, multiple of 3 of x value so we are getting the equation y is equal to 3x that is 1 3 2 into 3 6 3 into 3 9 4 into 3 12 now next when the variation comes it is difficult for us but still it is not difficult but we can by trial and error we can find out that 1 into 2 plus 1 2 into 2 plus 1 3 into 2 plus 1 and 4 into 2 plus 1 so we are getting the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 then next is 1 into 3 plus 2 2 into 3 plus 2 3 into 3 plus 2 4 into 3 plus 2 but still we require some time to find out this relationship but in reality data is not as much simple so by barely seeing the eyes we can't make this relationship so we require to follow the procedure to find out the parameters now in all this example we can find out the slopes are positive that's why we can find out the line in this direction here as x increases y is also increases x decreases y is also decreases now negative slope can be possible and this is nothing but the example of negative slope that when one increases and second decreases and vice versa now here in model of regression we have given first training data x and y based on that we find out the parameters and we draw the line that line is called regression line and when we say that when we draw the regression lines whatever the samples given in our data they will not directly fit to that line they will come close to that line some lines sometimes they fit on the line but most of the time they will very close to that line uh, when that difference is between that line and that sample it is called as a random error so some errors are positive that is below the line and some errors are negative how we take the calculation with the regression line that's why the positive negative comes but when we take the summation of positive and negative we are getting the result very close to zero because even in this diagram some errors are negative and some errors are positive so when we make the summation they becomes close to zero but still error is there that's why we can't take directly only the summation of the errors now compared to this example this example is good because all points are very close to this line and one point or two points they are exactly on the line third example this is okay but last two the error is more compared to the remaining points now this is a positive correlation negative and correlation so when positive correlation there we are getting the slope positive when negative correlation we are getting the negative slope and when there is no relation that when the variables are independent of each other it is not possible to apply the correlation now these points are given so we require to find out which the regression line so regression line should be such that it will uh, takes all the points very close to that line for example if we draw this line what will happen this is also okay but here error is more but if we draw this line here error is very less 
so we require to optimize the problem in which we want to find out the beta 0 and beta 1 in such a way that they will try to reduce the errors now this completes the theory of linear regression now derivation for linear regression by the least square method now the we start from the scratch so our equation is y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x now for every sample error is associated as just we saw with the every sample this is our training data set and when we draw the prediction line based on this sample we are getting the errors with each sample which is represented by epsilon so there are n number of samples are there so this equation becomes yi is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xi plus epsilon i our aim is to minimize the epsilon i solution is to find out the least square method when we arrange this equation we are getting epsilon i is equal to yi minus beta 0 minus beta 1 xi if we try to sum the random errors some may be very close to zero as i have already explained as some errors are positive and some errors are negative to overcome this we are using the least square method so we are making the square of the error and which we equate to the zero because our aim is to make the error zero so this equation becomes we substitute the epsilon i now we require to find out the beta zero and beta one in optimized way as two parameters are there so we require to take the partial derivative now we will take the partial derivative with respect to beta zero and with respect to beta one now first we will take the partial derivative with respect to beta zero so when we take the partial derivative with respect to zero we are going to equate to the zero because our aim is to make that close to zero error is close to zero so we are getting right hand side zero now just we require to arrange the equation now this 2 and minus 1 will go to the right hand side and we will cut down and we are getting this equation now the next step is very easy only you require to observe you pause your video and just check the each and every step i have given in detail and even i have not missed even a single simple step so you can easily get that now here when we arrange the equation as our aim is to find out the beta 0 i will keep that on the left hand side as beta 0 is constant that's why it is n into beta 0 this is the right hand side after arranging the equation we are getting this now as we know that summation of y divided by n is nothing but y bar so and this is nothing but the x bar so we are getting the equation beta 0 is equal to y bar minus beta 1 x bar now to uh, find out beta 0 we first require to find out the beta 1 now we will take the pair we will take the partial derivative with respect to beta 1 now we will take derivative partial derivative with respect to beta 1 and equate to the 0 now here this is nothing but 2 and the derivative of minus beta 1 x i is minus x i this portion and this cut and we are getting this equation and just we require to arrange the equation so I, I think there is no need to explain each and every step because it is very easy to understand only you just keep in mind once the equation gets adjusted only you require to take beta 1 on the either on the left hand side or on the right, right hand side you once that arrangement takes place you require to substitute the value of beta 0 which we found in the previous derivation then this is nothing but the next step in which we are putting the value of beta 0 and arranging the equation so that beta 1 comes on one side after that we are using this equation so this is the final equation of beta 1 the same equation can be arranged in this format and here we can find out that it is nothing but the covariance of x y and the variance of x so this is the final parameter finding of the beta 0 and beta 1 so when solving the problem you require to remember this formula thus by determining the parameters from the training pair x y model is built with the least square method now in this video i have explained only the theory of regression and the derivation by the least square method in the next video i am going to solve the problem on linear regression and with graphical representation so that you can get the idea what is the error and how it is represented and only you require to remember this formula then only you can solve the problem in exam thank you